And when he finally hires me and I throw my arms around him and I jump up and down and I say, oh, thank you, Mr. Sheffield. Um, I remember when I pulled up to the studio and I had my very own parking space and it said my name on it. And I thought, oh my God, this is unbelievable. We've really made it. Well, you know, I created the show and I also produced it. So I was kind of involved in every stage of it. I do remember one time I came onto the set and there must have been like um, 200 people working and some people were hammering and other people were uh, moving sets and there were racks of clothing going across and actors were rehearsing. And I thought to myself, this is unbelievable. And now it's this big show that employs all these people and it's being so well received um, on television by the public all over the world and it just made me feel amazing how it came together and how wonderful it endures the test of time and the pilot episode you know i remember when we were pitching the show to the network and one of the jokes that we pitched was he looks at my resume that I wrote in lipstick mm -hmm. and he said, you have the queen mother as a reference. And I smacked him on the shoulder and I said, that's not the queen mother. That's my mother from Queens. You know, that captured the relationship we were trying to get. And the joke stayed in the first episode. And when he finally hires me, and I throw my arms around him and I jump up and down and I say, oh, thank you, Mr. Sheffield. That was the nanny being inappropriate, being who she was, but being full of love, full of life and with a very big heart. And all the episodes where we had very big stars, the Elton John episode mm -hmm. was amazing. The Elizabeth Taylor episode with Rosie O'Donnell was also amazing. And you know, the list goes on and on. We, you know, we, we had so many incredible people. Ray Charles, I mean, it's just remarkable. When Peter, my husband and I split up, made a tense work situation. That was very difficult. We didn't want to ever do anything that would be harmful to the show, which we considered our baby. But it was very hard on both of us. Later, I started to get symptoms that I thought were indicative of something seriously wrong with me. And while I was working on the show and promoting it, I was also pursuing doctors. And it took me two years and eight doctors to get a proper diagnosis of uterine cancer. So those things that were happening behind the scenes created difficulty. Well, I think uh, probably uh, Sylvia, my mother, was my favorite character besides Fran Fine, played by Renee Taylor. I loved our scenes together in her kitchen, and uh, I loved our relationship. A very loving, devoted mother-daughter, and I thought that was important to show that. But having said that, I think every single character in the show was superbly played by the actor that played it. I had an unbelievable supporting cast. Mm -hmm. And without them, it would not be the success that it is. Mm -hmm.